Recently, I was in a conversation with someone. We were talking about traveling in Mexico, and he asked me this question. He said, Mike, he said, what would be like one of the best travel guide books that I could use when I go to Mexico on vacation with my family? And I thought to myself, that's an interesting question. Hi everybody, I'm Mike Fondruska. I appreciate you watching and tuning into my YouTube channel. I hope that you get some more understanding, gain some knowledge about Mexico through the travels that I've done throughout the country, as well as the research that I've gone through to make my travel videos. Let's get back to the question that this person asked me recently about what I thought the best travel guidebook would be. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm not going to try to go through the different publishing companies and all the books that uh, publish travel uh, guides. What I'm going to do is just stick with three. The first one, Lonely Planet. The second one, DK Witness. And then the third one, Rough Riders. All right, let's get started. And I want to first talk about Lonely Planet. Lonely Planet has been around since the early 1970s. With lots of years of experience under their belt, you really can't go wrong in using their travel books as a good, trusted resource. I'm pretty sure that I read they are the largest publisher of travel guidebooks in the whole industry. Lonely Planet's Mexico flagship guidebook is a really thick book with almost 900 pages of information covering the more visited main locations in Mexico. All the popular regions travelers usually are interested in visiting can be found in their thick book. So if you are planning on a Mexico road trip, or if you're thinking about multiple trips to explore different Mexico locations, or maybe you just want a complete guide to Mexico, then this book is a viable resource for purchasing. Lonely Planet also publishes two other travel books. They're more specific to the region of Cancun and the Yucatan Peninsula. The first one's called, well, it's entitled Cancun, Cozumel, and the Yucatan Peninsula. It looks like their most recent guidebook was published in 2019, and it contains 320 pages of jam-packed information. The Yucatan Peninsula is big, and this book covers it all. From Isla Holbox in the north, all the way down the coast to Cancun, further south to Puerto Morelos, down to Playa del Carmen, over to Isla Cozumel, and then all the way down to the Tulum area, and then even further down, further down to Bacalar, and to the Belize border where you're going to find the capital of the state of Quintana Roo, where all this is located, and the name of that city is Chetumal. So this book has information for all those locations, as well as the great places to go visit, in the other two states that comprise the Yucatan Peninsula, those states being Campeche and the state of Yucatan. So <laughs> pretty much this book covers everything under the sun that you're gonna wanna know if you're gonna visit Mexico's Caribbean coast. From family activities to where you can go and party to suggested tips on tipping to the ancient ruins in that area, to the cenotes, the best beaches, the restaurants, the hotels, and even sample itineraries, and then so much more. The other book Lonely Planet has published is called Pocket Cancun and the Riviera Maya, all focused on the Mexican Caribbean coast, specifically the more tortured areas of Cancun and the resort areas south of the city called the Riviera Maya. Lonely Planet does have a couple of other older books they have published in the past about different regions of Mexico, like Mexico City and Baja, which you can still find online for purchases. All right, let's move on to the second company I want to showcase in this video. The name of this publishing company is called DK Eyewitness. They are a multinational company out of England, and they have published many different types of books and have translated them in some 63 different languages. 
Their travel books are colorfully illustrated with great maps and photos. They're easier to carry around on your trip because, unlike the almost 900 pages of information you find in Lonely Planet's flagship Mexico guidebook, the Mexico guidebook published by DK Witness is only 336 pages long. So there is much less information about the different locations it's showcasing, as well as that it does not cover as many regions as the thicker books. I originally ordered their main Mexico flagship book because I had heard that they had great illustrations, great photos, but when I received it, I was a little disappointed. But that's just me. You see, in a travel book, I'm the kind of guy that reads everything, okay? I like descriptive descriptions. And DK Eyewitness is not that kind of book. It's more to the point. They have more basic facts, not a lot. It's not this long of a description. It might be this long. For those of you who are not really into really finding out lots and lots of information, then this um, publication might be something that you would be interested in. As I mentioned, it's a lot less pages, and so it's more condensed. But for me, I wanted one of them thick books. Besides DK's 336-page main book about Mexico, they also have what they call Top 10 Mexico City and Top 10 Cancun. Top 10 places to visit, one in Mexico City, and the top 10 places and things to do in Cancun. Once again, their descriptions of all the locations mentioned in these two travel resource books are not detailed oriented, but just have some basic information. Time to move on to the third publishing company, and that company is Rough Guides. Now, Rough Guides started in the early 1980s. They, like DK Witness, are a company based in England. I happen to use Rough Guides. Here's my book. It is a thick book, just as Lonely Planet is a thick book. You can see how thick it is. Basically, the pages are about the same number. This has 880 pages, and there's 12 sections showcasing all of Mexico. Lonely Planet divides Mexico into 11 sections, I believe. All right. Let me tell you some of the differences that I have found. In this book, Rough Guides, I really liked the illustrations. I liked the colored maps. I, I just like the way um, it was easier, I thought, uh, looking at them than Lonely Planet. So that was a plus, in my mind, for Rough Guides. That being said, Lonely Planet the, the structure of the content is, um, I would say, a little more organized. I don't know if that's a good term to put. I mean, it, uh, all the information is here too in Rough Guides, but what I mean by that is this. If you were to look at the table of contents in, in Rough Guides, it's going to give you the 12 regions. If you want to look at a specific town, let's say, within that region, it's not going to give you a page number in the index. You would have to go to the section uh, and then find the town. In, rough, in uh, Lonely Planet, the table of contents underneath the title section uh, region does have listed all the different places it's going to showcase with the page number. So in that regards, it might be a little easier to, to look for a specific town, let's say, because it's in the table of contents in Lonely Planet as compared to in Rough Guides where you've got to go to the section and then look for it. What I do also like about this book is that you can thumb to a section fairly easily. In the uh, beginning, I don't know if you can see it, but the the different locations, the different regions, uh, is color coordinated, is, is a color tab. And the tabs are right here. So if you know the color, you can easily go to it, flip through the pages, find it quickly. So that's kind of nice. Since I'm very familiar with the state of Veracruz, because that's where uh, I live when I'm down there, and that's where my office is located, let's talk about that section. So I have already flipped to it. There's a title page, as you can see, 
and I'm going to go through the format of this book. Basically, the format of Lonely Planet more or less is about the same, okay? The, uh, as I mentioned, the descriptions more or less are the same um, for the most part. So, we've got the cover page first, and then underneath it shows the list of regions that are going to be covered uh, throughout the state of Veracruz. You should know there's a state of Veracruz and a city of Veracruz, just like New York City, New York State. Then it's going to move on to a short overview description of the state of Veracruz or whatever region uh, in the book. Then it's going to also give some highlights, like a, a list of highlights, uh, things that uh, places, activities that are, are most prevalent in that state that a lot of people uh, would maybe be interested in going to see or in doing. And Lonely Planet also has highlights as well. I think that's, that's really good. Then it's going to give you uh, a map, a map of the, of the area that's being uh, showcased within that section. In this case, it's just the state of Veracruz. So as you can see, there's a map of the state. Uh, and that way you can get acclimated as to where things are. And then a brief history. A brief history of the state, uh, going back in history. And it's not all that long, but it just gives you enough. And again, Lonely Planet it, it basically does about the same thing. After that, it's going to give you, within that section, maps of the major cities. Okay. In this case, it's starting out uh, with the city of Veracruz. And also, since there's another big city just south of it, they kind of butt up against each other, Boca del Rio, where I have my office, um, it's showing that map. You can also see that it's going to show another map of the central region, the central area of the city of Veracruz, because that's where a lot of the historical things are, um, are found. And so it's nice also to, to really zoom in and show that uh, section. And you're going to see the same thing, uh, showing the downtown area, the walking areas. And it'll also pinpoint like the restaurants, dining, things like that. Then it's going to show you how to travel there, how to get there. Uh, what flights, uh, you know, do they have an airport there? Uh, what airlines maybe goes there? Uh, things like that or if you're taking buses. The bus systems throughout Mexico are really, really great and it might show you how to get there by buses. Let's say if you're in Mexico City or another town and you want to take a bus to get to, in this case, in this example, Veracruz. Then it's going to show you tour information. It might show you some tour, local tour companies. If there is a, a, a tourism office, it's going to show you and give you information where you can go, where you can find that office, so you can go and talk with people, maybe get some additional maps and brochures and what have you. Now that you're in the city, it's also then going to show you how you get around the city. What are the buses like? How much do the buses cost? Taxis, how much do they cost? Is that city uh, also have um, other forms of transportation like Ubers? Side note, at this time as I'm making this video, there are no Ubers in Veracruz, so I just thought I'd let you know that. Okay, so you're going to get that information. Then it's going to talk about the hotels and the places to stay. It'll have a handful of hotels that they uh, have shown based on their research as good hotels, what the pricing is, phone numbers and that. Same with restaurants, the local restaurants within, let's say, the downtown region of Veracruz. It's going to have the phone number, the address, and what their specialty foods are. Then it's going to go and jump to a section of nightlife, things that you can do in the evening, places to go maybe for dancing or maybe for drinking or stuff like that, okay? And of course, people like to shop. And so there's going to be a section. Where are the marketplaces? Where are the mercados? Uh, are they indoors? Are they outdoors? Um, where are they and what do they sell? So that's, uh, that's very helpful to have that thing. And then lastly, there's gonna be a section and, and that's called a directory. And the directory basically is things that you might need to know. Where the pharmacies are, where's the local ATMs for exchanging money, uh, where's the local hospitals, 
If you want to get your clothes washed while you're there, okay, where could you take your clothes and they can wash and dry and fold them for you? Have them done, let's say, in a day. That kind of information. Now, that same format I just went through also is, is uh, going to occur for every city, every town for the most part. And it would be the same in Lonely Planet and somewhat the same in DK Eyewitness as well. I also wanted to tell you that uh, Rough Guides has three other travel publications. The one is about Cancun and the Yucatan Peninsula. That's a paperback form. Now the other two that Rough Guides makes are not in paperback, they're Kindle versions. And the other one is uh, Mexico City. And so there's a Kindle version for Mexico City. It was put out in 2016. That's when it was published. And then the other one is Acapulco and the Pacific Beaches. That also is a Kindle version. Uh, and so basically it's going from Acapulco North all the way up until uh, like Puerto Vallarta. So that uh, area right there. And so those are the other three a rough guide uh, uh, travel books that you can find. That being said, I do want to talk about these thick books. DK, DK Witness is not a problem, it's just a couple hundred pages long and you could bring the whole thing with. But if you are just visiting, uh, let's say the Cancun region or Mexico City, you don't really need to take this whole thick book with you. I mean, it's, it's not going to help you because you're not going to those like locations. So the only reason why you could really only think about bringing the whole book is let's say if you're doing a road trip and you needed a lot of the sections. So here's what people do. Now remember, you bought the book. It's your book. Okay, you can mark it, highlight it, make notes, tab it, whatever you want to do. But what you could also do is you could take the section, like I was talking about Veracruz, you could take the section of Veracruz, take an X-Acto knife or, or something like that, and just take this section right here and cut it out of the book and bring this section with you, okay? And then when you uh, get back home to your home, you can take this section and just stick it back in to the book. Why not? That way you don't have to, uh, you know, lug this, I don't know what this is, probably close to two pounds. Uh, this book, you can just bring this section here. Just take the section that you need and then uh, bring it back. That's what a lot of uh, people have traveled, they have learned to do, and you could do the same thing. All right. So that's it for now, except there are two more travel resources, uh, Mexico travel resources, that I'm going to introduce to you. One deals with, uh, with, with kids, and the other one is if you're like, doing road trips. And so if you're uh, curious or you want to check those out, I'll have the links and then you can read all about it as well uh, by clicking on the links. I, again, I appreciate you watching everybody. Thank you. It was good spending time with you. I look forward to seeing you in, the next, uh, in my next video. And as they say in Mexico, as they say in Spanish, <laughs> nos vemos pronto. That means we'll see you soon. Have a great week, everybody. Until next time. Hasta luego.